it's not a reading it's a writing hi uh, my name is daman pri singh and you're watching the channel brain edge i have said something the reading is not a reading and it's a writing yes this it is every question is taken out of a reading passage and every question is not a new question it is actually a passage a statement of a passage turned into a new statement with the help of synonyms and keywords so how do these keywords work and how do these synonyms come into practice let's find out so as i've mentioned that every reading passage is a writing so if i ask you that please uh, write an essay for me or suppose uh, write an essay an article on soccer or the olympics or the war which is going on between russia and ukraine so what will you do you will uh, write a good introduction explanation with details data examples uh, some quotes any source available to add on to and then a conclusion now if i say you that uh, do one thing more from your article make 13 14 questions 3 4 should be true false not given 3 4 should be multiple choice questions uh, then remaining will be fill ups and you can add on uh, some straight question answers so what will be your approach will you be uh, making a very a uh, total new question or if i say you that do one thing read the paragraph read the article select a particular statement convert it into a new form with the help of synonyms and make it a question but do one thing uh, make sure the reader or the person who is taking the test does not get gets confused so make sure to add two three same not similar same words exact copy paste them so you have two three words which are same which are called keywords and the remaining sentence is in the form of synonyms now what if i say the reading should be easier medium or tough one then what there comes your full stop to full stop technique let's find out everybody so this is the passage and uh, the passage says uh, eyes on the world travel photography in the 21st century so this is a very big uh, passage i have broken down this passage into multiple paragraphs so you will be seeing uh, multiple paragraphs in on in different screens so before that uh, you can pause the screen to go through these statements and we'll try to see and we'll check how to solve your two false not given so i hope you might have paused the screen to go through the passage uh, i have also done one thing i have marked the answers here so uh, this is the actual location so we will find out how uh, we have to match your keywords or synonyms right let's begin so let me decolor this again into a black to find out the keywords all right so the question says most photographers understand how hard it is it was to take photographs in 19th century so it's a very good keyword with us 19th century and this is uh, somewhere here 19th century so this is a good keyword again in the 19th century and uh, yes in the 19th century okay so now your full stop to full stop uh, way so this is uh, an easy reading so 
you will be having the answers in single statement. How single statement? See, this is the keyword, and this keyword lies in this statement. F full stop to full stop. This is a full stop. This is supposed to be a full stop here because this is the beginning, and uh, here it is a full stop. So this full statement is the synonym of this. So most photographers understand how hard it was to take photographs. So in 19th century, same. So most photographers, so most majority of photographers, most photographers understand how hard it was to take photographs in 19th century. So it was tough thing. And a lot of majority of photographers knew that. Uh, it is mentioning here, majority of photographers fail to realize. Realize means understand. So this is a synonym. This is a synonym. Here it says how hard it was to take photographs. So what the challenges were, again, synonym, hard and challenging. They're saying they understood. Here it says fail to. That means it's a total contradiction. It's a total contradiction. So answer for this is no. For this, the answer is no, right? OK, let's see second question. Some of the chemicals that DU camp uh, used for his photography uh, were unsafe. Unsafe. Okay, let's see. Chemicals. Some of the chemicals. This is the question. So the chemicals they were using for photography uh, were unsafe. Some of the chemicals. So this is the keyword. And uh, I think this is the keyword. Chemicals, chemicals. Finally, no, so it just begins. Finally, not was not only was there a great deal of equipment and chemicals to transport, but traveling itself would be highly dangerous. So they are saying traveling would be highly dangerous. Of course, uh, travel photographers do still take risks as part of their job, but the level of danger is hardly the same as when the DU camp was traveling across continents. So they are saying something about the traveling. That traveling was, un traveling was unsafe. Traveling was uh, having a level of danger. But here they're saying uh, chemicals. Some of the chemicals which were used. Total. This is not a contradiction. One statement is saying something else. Second is saying something else. Uh, this is not a match. This is not a match. How? Some of the chemicals that DU can be used for this freeze photography were unsafe. Here they are mentioning something else, total different thing. Here they are mentioning about photography, and here they are mentioning something about um, traveling. So this should be, and it is, not given. Okay, so we have uh, first is uh, no, second is not given. Let's move to your next paragraph. Okay, I have marked the answers three and four. This is number three and this is number four. Let's see. So I'll uh, again make this back to black. This is your, okay. There is a lot of luck involved in taking really good photographs. Photogra uh, photographs. A lot of luck. Good luck is involved in taking good photogra photographs. Here it is mentioning that uh, luck. Well, see, there's something about luck. Chance. Okay. The popular idea that great photographs are often the result of a photographer being in exactly the right place at exactly the right time, just by chance. So the person becomes lucky. This is a chance. The person becomes lucky. Lot of luck involved. This thing does not reflect reality. Does not reflect reality. 
people say that yes there is a lot of love involved but this is not a reality this one not a reality so the answer is a contradiction here they are saying the luck is involved they are saying luck is not a reality total contradiction so this should be and it is no okay this is no okay let's see this is your fourth so you can do one thing you can uh, pause the video again you can check what should be the answer because before we jump onto the question and find the answer so i will make this back to black okay it's usually photo refs that require a lot of effort that professional photographers are most pleased with so they are very satisfied right satisfied very pleased because a lot of effort is used let's see it's usually usual means in general professional photographers professional photographers okay share the feeling that most uh, rewarding photographs are the ones you worked for they're saying that uh, uh, you put the efforts the more you put the effort the more satisfaction you get here the question says it's usually photographs that require a lot of effort are more uh, are that professional photographs so the photographers are most pleased with more effort more satisfaction so uh most rewarding worked hard for same same this is totally same so for this the answer is total yes you can pause the video if you want to pause it you can check the uh question you can check the answers and we'll jump on to the next question okay they, it is saying something about um all souls in philippines okay I have taken uh, this particular area uh, from the paragraph where the answer lies, but actually the answer is not there. You can again pause the video to know the answer and we'll jump on to it. So All Souls Day in Philippines is an older festival than the day of the dead in Mexico. So uh, All Souls Day is older than the day of the dead. Let's see. Events like this attract photographers because atmosphere can help create some wonderful photo, photo opportunities. The day of the dead. The day of the dead. Uh, is a perfect example. Although other countries have similar events, for example, All Souls Day, Philippines, the maximum event, the Mexican event is a photograph, uh, photographer's dream. It's a time of celebration when people remember their relatives who have already passed away good photographs will capture the sense of joy no they are mentioning day uh, the day of the dead in mexico this is an event and they are not comparing uh, all souls day because the question says that the all souls day was older than or is older than uh, the day of the dead there is no contradiction there is nothing mentioned here this is totally not given okay Let's see, we have a couple of more question and answers and the other locations. Let's see. Okay, this is the answer for question number six. Uh, let's jump onto it. Uh, Mexican locals are happy for foreigners to attend the Day of the Dead celebrations. So Mexican people, the locals, the local people, they're very happy. They're very happy that uh, foreigners are attending the day of the dead. Okay. What's more, the local people? The local Mexican local people are happy for foreigners, are happy to share this experience with outsiders. What's the synonym of outsiders? Foreigners to attend, right? Participate. Right? So this is almost similar. So the answer for this is 
Yes. And the answer for this was, you can quickly jump in, uh, jump uh, onto the question again if you want to see question number fifth. Now, let, now let's see uh, the question number seven. Okay, the question here says, it has become common for some Native American groups to photograph important ceremonies. So some Native American, the people who are residing uh, there, who have, who have become Native, right? Um, it has become really common that they are taking photographs of these important ceremonies. Let's see. From, from talking uh, to Native Americans, Native American. So this is active passive voice, Native. I met on my journey. So it seems that it is now acceptable. Acceptable means common to regard photographs as valuable connections to ancestors and even include them in important ceremonies. Include them. Photograph important ceremonies. Photograph means they are collecting photographs. They are including them. So photograph include. So uh, look at the question yourself, look at the paragraph, how it is mentioned there. Every particular line, every particular word says something. This was a, a quick drill, a quick task. So just relax, pause the video, look at the options, compare the options, then give the answers. This is a very easy reading because the answer lies in single statement from full stop to full stop. This was not given true false. So uh, in the next videos, we will be jumping on to other questions and other types of questions. So I hope you might have gone through this session and this would be of good, good use uh, to you. So, so see you in the next video and uh, thank you very much. We will be covering more topics of reading, especially reading IELTS and uh, your multiple choice questions, the tough questions also. This was a medium kind of or easy uh, reading session. So stay, stay tuned for more uh, updates. Uh, please uh, like, uh, share and subscribe our channel and uh, do check out all the videos. We have links in the descriptions and we have some live sessions also. You can check them out also. and. Uh, we will be coming with more sessions. This episode series will be of uh, 12 to 13 episodes and we will be covering every uh, part of your uh, IELTS reading discussions, uh, true, false, not given, match the following, headings, uh, multiple choice questions, fill-ups, straight question answers. So till then, see you.